pastor rocking with you, baby. This hey. black in this thing. Yeah. Push. Feels like an out new port, but out of Fort Door. This 4 4 a bulldog like Georgia. Let's get it. Fortnite leaving town, traveling porters. Live reporter, breaking news, teleprompter, confirm various sources. Black mothers with black tears, they absorb it. I met mascara and moisture. Back to bed like the dynasty in American sports. Fabricated police report testimony from Corridor. Recording up the police killing. And they still get acquittal since we come from area four. They try to bury us for tyranny from the oppressor, hysteria, scared of a scared of a court. Watch this old book allow at us that we never read before. Live and direct from where the sun don't shine. And I don't mind, cause before light that was darkness. Moving silent like deep in the night, right before robbing. Before I got my way up, I was serving partially. Neeks in the mid, mixed with parsley. Arguing and marks me with 50 rock cauldron and garbage of washing. It's your girl, Angela Tolliver, coming at you with another banger. You feel me? Let me know if you guys can hear me. Because last night, last night, last night, I did a whole 90 minutes. And the recording was staticky and it was off. I could not believe all the hard work I put in. <laughs> So let me know in the chat if you can hear me. What's good, Ashley? <clears throat> Put a one in the chat if you can hear me. Trying to make sure I can, I'm heard. <laughs>
chat if you can hear me did a whole video for 90 minutes and I couldn't hear nothing. It was like all staticky, so I need to make sure I can hear myself. Because that was the first time I ever had any um, audio issues. I'm like, what? What? <laughs> what? All the work I did? Nobody heard me? People was li literally sitting on the live just watching me because I know they couldn't hear nothing I was talking about but they were sitting there watching <laughs> real talk they were so enough watching yeah I had to come back on them come back in on them you feel me alright got everything blessed all right so we're gonna get started i'm just gonna jump right into it because i got a lot of work to do tonight i should have left the light where it was at because i need to be closer to the table Yeah, there we go. Perfect. So you still be able to see it. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and get some protection. Psalms 91, 11 through 12. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways in their hands. They shall bear you up. Our father in heaven and his angels, they will go bear you up. Make sure you're straight. Move you right on out the way. You feel me? <laughs> and go to war. Catch a body if they have to. Let somebody come at one of my father in heaven's children. You feel me? Do you dig or you don't dig? Do you over dig or do you under dig? <laughs> as long as you dig. All right. Yeah. 
got to play my song really quick. Who you represent? 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 Everybody nowadays be marching in the movement Some ain't gon' like what I'm saying in my song Cause they be marching for the right To do what is the wrong Abortion is a sin Homosex is a sin If you were born that way Then you could be born again Sometimes I'm really wondering if this world is listening Cause we are not the same Maro with Jesus I rep the Bible Jesus is what I'm into if he has a relationship with you, take up your cross. Deny yourself and follow him. If you are a man of God, you cannot watch pornography. You can't fornicate, so throw away your condoms. I don't care how much honey say she wants some. Even when they not looking, rep them to the call. Rep them in the public eye and behind closed doors. Who you represent? 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 They come and represent. They represent. They come and represent. They come and represent. They come and represent. They come and represent. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to start a riot, but I do believe the church has been too. Quiet while the world is busy marching, legalizing everything. But what they really want to legalize is sin, same sex marriages. Let me just testify when you legalize that, then here comes the pedophiles and the polygamists and the one who we smoke. Next, you know, you gon' have to legalize real code. Induce birth abortion, you are anti life. This is a lawless society who's anti Christ. God hates racism and he hates to see injustice the question that i'm asking is where are the churches they keep telling me learn to tolerate but when, when i say what i believe then they tell me that it's hate but i love all sinners and i don't discriminate but when it comes to sin i refuse to participate who you represent 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 Now come into my classroom, grab a chair, please sit A lot of things we think is cool, God ain't really pleased with You think you're getting away with it, cause it's done in secret But you fool yourself, because he always sees it I've been bought for the price, and yes I am loving it God so loved the world, that his only son covers it On the cross, now I am Government. The rainbow's not a sign of gay pride, but of a covenant. This is not a hate speech, this is just a warning. What you call a lifestyle, God already calls sin. This world is impatient, they're constantly racing. I switched up my style to bring it to your generation. Who needs salvation? You are so underwear. You are God up above, and He really do care. What you built up a great wall. You like China. You're a perfect designer. So tell me who's your designer? Who you represent? 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 They come and represent. They represent. They come and represent.
It's your girl. My name is Angela Tolliver. Coming at you with another banger. I'm better known as the spiritual plug. The spiritual sniper. I'm just going to hop right into it. So, today we're doing some light worker reading. I got some archetypes. I got some... Starseed energy, divine feminine, divine masculine energy. We're going to get angel numbers. We're going to get a message from the angels. We're going to ask the angels some questions. And we're going to figure some things out. You feel me? Okay, I said that part. chakra energy so I'm gonna need you guys to speak it sing it right be creative at this time express yourself Ex express yourself vocally if you're a content creator let's get to it period express your truth let's get on here let's heal Let's help heal others. Because this is our ancient future. We're getting prepared for. We're moving on up. We moving on up. To the north side. <laughs> we going to our north nodes. Our higher selves. The fifth dimension. Most, most of us most of us are in the fifth dimension already consciously everything is consciousness yes we're living the human experience but you always got to know that we are still spirits and beings light beings we are getting prepared for our ancient future these are messages from Lemuria the Lemurians These are people who used to live in the lost city of Atlantis. We're going to get some Atlantis um, energy in just a second. Because this is infinite. This, this so-called life we live is infinite. It's never ending. When we cross over, when we pass over, we move to a higher consciousness. A some of them move to a lower consciousness as well or lose their consciousness and just be in complete darkness. But some people, when they live in the light and they go back to the light, they're going to where their ancestors at. They're going to where God is, our Heavenly Father, Yahuwah, period. They're going into the light where all the saints, all the ascended masters, back to where the, the angelic realm, infinite yes I've come to help heal to play my part play my role in this what I signed up for what my soul contract is this is my soul contract to bring awareness 
and um, spiritual enlightenment to my people, period. We're healing. Get your chakras balanced. Get your chakras aligned. Got water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. I see nothing but blessings. Look at this. This is beautiful. Look, I see roses. I see like light coming down, shining down on this person. They're healing in the water. So spiritual baths at this time. Let's get, let's get our bodies clear. Let's raise our vibrations. Super beautiful. An overflow of abundance, love, and light. All right. That's for our water energy. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces energy. You guys are flourishing. Y'all oh, got the overflow. You feel me? We got some fire energy in the building. Sagittarius. Leo and Aries. Yes, we got the fire energy. You guys need to balance your dark side and your light side at this time. Balance it. Everybody got a dark side. Everybody got a light side. Everybody got free will to choose. Is you going to be right or is you going to be wrong? What side is you on? Who you represent? Do you represent the light or do you represent darkness? Who you represent? Period. Solaris sub Sublime Energy. I see number six. Crystal Keys. I got the keys, 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 keys. I got the keys. <laughs> Crystal Keys. I'm giving y'all some of the... I'm dropping these Crystal Keys on you. I'm dropping these gems on y'all right now. Feel me? Dropping these gems on y'all. Yeah. Period. I'm here to enlighten, to teach. What's good, everybody, for sliding through? What's good? I know what I'm speaking about is a little different. You know, because a lot of you guys are still in the matrix. Y'all still sleep real talk so this what i do is not going to resonate with everybody so if you do slide through and you stick around and it resonates make sure you, when you come in hit the like button say what's up holler introduce yourself let me know you're in the chat period the more interaction i do the more i'm able to connect with you guys as well so don't be shy i'm not shy what's up say what's up All right, let's get some messages from the lost city of Atlantis. All right, we got high priestess energy. High priestess. That's me. High priestess energy. I come to enlighten people with spiritual enlightenment. Showing you how to heal, how to love yourself, teaching you affirmations, how to work with your angels, how to work with your spirit guides, your spirit friends, your spirit animals. I'm here to let you know what's good in the spiritual realm. I'm the spiritual plug and I'm a sniper, period, period. <laughs> okay, I'm a spiritual sniper, all right. Okay, we got unicorn energy. Someone's ancestor is a unicorn. A lot of our ancestors turned into unicorns so they can move around. This is beautiful. They are help healing. Look at the little baby laying in the nature. It's time for nature. Get out in nature. It's time to bathe in nature. Let the nature heal you. Let the animals, let the spirit animals heal you. 
We need healing at this time, raising your vibrations, and we're healing. In nature. Yes, we got to continue to heal because we're under mind control. By the powers that word. The evil one. Real talk. Mind control. A lot of you guys are operating with a reprobate mind. You're under mind control. You're under what some, some people told you to be under. Everything around us is freaking programming us and mind control. We just some damn vessels that's being freaking controlled. Period. We got to break out the matrix. Period. This is why I love this picture right here. This is a picture of me when I was about 16 or 17. This is my little sister and my little brother. And that's my auntie. She passed away. She raised me. And that's why I got her here with me. And I love this picture because it only looked like we in the Matrix. <laughs> we used to love to dress up and take pictures. Oh, my God. But, yeah, we used to look like we in the Matrix with all the black and white shit on. I wanted to let, let We all had on leather. Look, I had my little leather, little jacket and skirt. My sister had a leather skirt. My brother, you know, he was looking like a little boy. He like, look, <laughs> my auntie. I love you, Auntie. Thanks for being here. I know you're definitely with me. I love you. This is my Auntie Marlene. Say hi to my Auntie Marlene. <laughs> she here. I got her right there, period. I got my TT right there, you feel me? <laughs> I be talking to her all the time. That's who I talk to. When I want to motherfucking spill my tea, oh, I go talk to my aunties, period, and my grandparents. I talk to my, my parents, my aunties. I, I go and talks to them. I go talk to Jesus. I go talk to God. I go talk to my angels, my ancestors, period. We got the high priest. All right, so we got divine feminine, divine masculine in the building. Divine feminine, divine masculine. The high priest and the high priestess. We got their energy needs to come on together. We got union. We got divine unions. These are divine unions. When you got a high priest and the high priestess coming together, this is the this is. This is way more powerful than just your emperor and your empress. Yes, God and goddess. We got the high priest, high priestess. Yeah. Yes, we got, we need them. We got them coming together because we got to get these people awakened together because we're, our people is under mind control. Yeah, people are doing black magic. People are doing black magic at this time. You need to stay prayed up. You need to get these spiritual techniques that I'm showing you guys so you can stay protected. This is a spiritual battle. And if you ain't got your spiritual weapons and you ain't spiritually protected, you're going to be easily possessed, especially if you don't even know what to do. If you don't know how to clear your energy, if you don't know the proper way to live a spiritual life and be protected and be blessed, you need to stay tuned in, period. This is not a time to be playing games. This is not a time to be closed-minded. This is not a time to be just out here listening to any and everybody. You need to wake up. People... I need my people to wake up and pay attention to what's going on around them. Get this spiritual enlightenment. Real talk.
Yeah, we got to give each other love and energy at this time. We need our people to come together, lift the vibration of this planet, come together. It's pulls of energy. If you connect with each other in a positive way. And then we got creative expression. That's right. So you guys should be doing creative activities to keep you vibrating in high vibrations. To make sure that instant was good. <laughs> but yes, you guys. So work on your creative arts. If you're a painter, if you're into arts, if you're into music, dance, cooking, whatever you're into, sports, whatever you're into mechanic you're a doctor whatever you love to do a healer you know what i'm saying whatever type of field of work that you love or whatever your gifts are whatever your hobbies are you want to work on those that's what you work on to stay away from the distractions and mind control real talk have fun have fun. Play with your kids. Have fun with your kids at this time. Play with your kids. Have fun with your nieces and nephews. Give the kids some time. Speaking of the kids, we're going to go ahead and grab some children's angel messages real quick. Get those children's angel messages. Dear Heavenly Father, ancestors, angels of the highest white light, I ask that at this time you bring divine blessings to everyone in involved. Please keep me clear in my higher self so I may see, hear, feel, and know divine messages that may come through this reading at this time. I say clear. All right. Let's get some messages that we need to know and we need to show and tell our kids. Don't be afraid to go tell your kids these messages because these are for kids. These are for your babies and your kids. I just, I had a, a dream early this morning about babies. Literally, I had to write it down. Damn, they fell. Okay. Yes, I had a dream about something that I was going to be doing for business with babies. I'm super excited because I really love kids. These are some really cute cards. All right, so tell your kids to make a wish. Wish on a star. It's winter time to so go outside, make snow angels, and have fun. And even if it's not no snow outside, still take your kids outside. Go for a walk. If you, li if you live close to your corner store around your house, y'all go for a walk to the store. Real talk. I know there's a lot of people out here in the world that still be catching buses with their kids or, or they just, you know what I'm saying, take Ubers. Make sure you take time out to be outside with your kids and to uh, play, have some fun. Go do some an activity, a fun activity. And tell them to make a wish. Tell your angel what you wish for. And look forward to a surprise. I wish for Wooty Bam. Thank you, Angel. Woo! <laughs> All right. And then, when you're feeling confused, ask your angel to hold your hand. That's right. So when you're feeling scared and you you feel like you're confused, ask your angel to hold your hand. And your angel will hold your hand. All you gotta do is believe your angel will hold your hand and protect you and to get you, make sure you're okay. Say to yourself, my angel holds my hand. That's beautiful. So we wanna make sure our babies are emotionally good and we wanna make sure that they're happy. Having fun, making wishes, and seeing their wishes come true. For real. We got at the bottom of the deck. Show your kids how to give gratitude and say thank you. 
show your kids how to say thank you and show gratitude. Show love. Show your kids how to share. Your kid's always not going to get no birthday gift. Your kid ain't always going to be able to get everything that they want. Show them how to have gratitude and give thanks and be grateful. Be thankful for what they got. Real talk. Still a little too hot. Whew. I start feeling my throat get dry. I was like, girl, you better get your throat together. So show your kids how to give gratitude. Say thank you for all the good things in your life and your angels will bring you more. Thank you angels for my new bike. Thank you angels for my computer. Thank you angels for my food. Thank you angels for my new shoes. Thank you angels for everything. You too mommies and daddies, aunties, uncles, and cousins, and all y'all. Make sure y'all be giving thanks to each other. Say thank you to that baby too. When your baby go do something for you, you say thank you to your baby too. All right. Okay. When you don't know what to do, ask the angels and they will whisper to you. My angel will help me find the answer. That's right. So when you don't know, ask your angels. And they're going to give you the message. The message is going to come in signs and synchronicities. Or the angel might give your mom that idea that you might need to know that answer. Or if you're big enough to be able to talk to your mom, you should be able to ask your mom any type of question. If you don't know something, you ask mommy. Ask daddy, ask grandma, grandpa, auntie, uncle. Mostly ask your mommy and daddy. Ask the angels. Okay. Okay, healing for the babies. It says when you feel unwell, ask the angels of healing to help you. Angels of healing, please make me feel better. Beautiful. like this playlist right here because I don't like the, some of these artists but I'm just playing it because it's copyright free music but I do want to change this because I'm not feeling this Because I'm starting to get a little spiritually irritated. Like, oh, uh, 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 hold up, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> hold up. Wait a minute. Get a little closer. have a child that's special everybody's child is very special but some kids are extra special and then they stand out they don't fit in because they're different like a black girl with braids or something they don't quite understand her but children need to feel special can't be leaving them out. Don't leave your friends out. Everybody 
need to be equal with each other. When you feel different from other children, your angel sees you are special. Say to yourself, I am special. Matter of fact, forget them. If they ain't messing with you, forget them. You go on about yourself with the Holy Spirit. You go on to be with the Holy Spirit and you hang out with your angels and them. You can be by yourself. Real talk. It's not good to be picking on kids or whatnot, but if you want to roll by yourself, it's okay to roll by yourself. Don't be afraid to be fitting in and dimming your light for to be fake. Be yourself. And, you, and get your role on then. If they not messing with you, you going to get your role on by yourself with, with your Holy Spirit then. And your angels and your ancestors. Okay. To these light worker, we get done, we're getting it done. These light worker messages. Make sure you guys take a break when you're feeling overwhelmed. Take a break. Get you some rest, chill out, relax your mind. Do something fun, relax your mind. Period. <laughs> Life's a work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. <laughs> Some of y'all be over uh, exercising and shit. Get off the treadmill, chill out. Trust your path. We on the narrow path. Trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? You guys, this is a lesson. What would you do if you knew you was... If you knew you were supported by God, the angels, your spiritual team, your ancestors, what would y'all do? Drop a comment. I want to know. I'm going to write it down because I want to answer that question too. We are in it together. This is a lesson. So write down the question. If you knew you were supported, what would you do? Okay, so today is February 10th. All right. If you knew you were supported, what would you do? That's the question of the day. If you knew you were supported by God, Yahuwah, your father, the angels, your archangels of the highest white light, your spiritual friends, your spiritual guides, your spiritual anal animals, your ancestors. What if you knew that you was going to be financially abundant? Ask yourself, what would you do with that? It's the question. All right. So it's time for a gathering. It's all coming together. Your soul tribe. It's all happening. 
your soul tribe, your soul family is all coming together now. So you're going to be guided. You're going to be divinely guided and protected. Your ancestors got you, period. Your spiritual team got you. Your angels got you. God got you. For real. No worries. Don't worry about a thing. About to ting. Don't worry about to ting. <laughs> Get grounded at this time. The angels is definitely in here. My nose get the itching. Yes. Get grounded because when you go out in nature and you go around trees in nature, these are your ancestors. Look at your ancestors right here with information waiting for you in the tree. Look, trees are very significant. Because back in the day, they didn't have houses and all these structures and all this architecture. They didn't have all this back in the day like this. People did not live as privileged as we do today. The people that, how we live today, we're privileged to live like this for having all the technology and the engineering and to have people that can do this stuff to be able to maintain it, run a whole democracy, <laughs> a republic. We ain't going to get into all that. But yes, y'all get grounded at this time. Empaths, highly sensitive people. Connect with nature. If you're feeling anxiety and you're anxious, connect with nature. Go outside. Go play. Go hug a tree. Go relax. Go see something beautiful. Go do an activity outside. Go outside. Go outside and play. It's time for deep replenishment. It's time to take a retreat, get some rest. And if you're married, Y'all get your freak on and hold each other. For real. <laughs> Y'all get your freak on and hold each other and say I love you. Work it on out. We birthed in a new age at this time. We're going into the fifth dimension. Check out all this light. These are our light beings. The Galactic Federation of Light. These are our star system. Our stars. The light. Energy. Just go outside and look up at night. I love it. Uh-oh, I dropped it. I love going outside at night and looking at the moon and the stars. It is so beautiful, and I be trying to put stuff together, and I just love the energy. It's so soothing to me. We're birthing new creations at this time, dreaming a new world into being, our fifth dimension, new earth. If you're called, it's time to answer the call. God been calling. Y'all been just hanging up on God. Y'all got God messed up. God calling. He like, hey, what's good? What's good, Angela? What? Hey, yo, what's good, William? What, what's good, Brandy? What's good, Samantha? What's, what's good, Teddy? What's good? What's good, Destiny? What's good, Kayla? What's good, Rob? What's good? What's good, Tone? What's good? Yeah, I'm recording, but I'm just just, just like I'm, just like a part of my presentation. We're going outside. We're finna get ready. Y'all finna go out? Yeah, we're coming. You finna make me go out, child? Yeah. No. 
I don't want to go out. We already said we wasn't going out. <sighs> <laughs> Bro, the only reason I was saying that's because they didn't, uh, she didn't bring her makeup, but it's like everybody has makeup. I got some makeup for her. That's what I was saying. Okay. But uh, I don't want to go out. You already dressed. I ain't wearing this. You just got to gotta get dressed. Well, your makeup. Okay, done. all I got to do really, though, is put, is the, put, put the put outfit, outfit on. on. We have to do our makeup. <laughs> all right, we ain't got to leave till 11, right? Yeah, you gotta hurry up. Girl, it's 11 right now, child. Well, we oh, my God. You're trying to interrupt me to go out to the club, Lord. Mm. But the Lord said, go have some fun. So I'm going to listen to the Lord tonight. So let me go ahead and finish this message. I'm pretty much dressed. All I got to do is put my outfit on and shoes. And skadiddle, skedaddle. You feel me? Time to set boundaries. Time to set boundaries. I don't care what situation you in. If it's something that's not making you happy, you need to get out. If it's, if it's holding you back, holding you down, keeping you from your from your focus, you need to let it go. Period. Period. Yes, you got set boundaries. Because we got people that could be triggering you at this time. They could be mirroring you. You know the real you in. They could be mirroring you to reel you in and then want to keep on playing up same ass games and keep hurting you. So, yeah. Bread crumbing you, leaving you halfway. Nah, you ain't finna keep playing these fuck ass games, motherfucker. We setting boundaries. You either walk away or you set some boundaries. Because somebody could be triggering you at this time. Period. Hell yeah. We got shit we got going on. We trying to birth a new age. Don't nobody got time. Align your life. Let's get it in order. What is not aligned needs to change. Period. That's right. We want for to go outside. <laughs> That's funny because we said we wasn't going out tonight, right? Soon God was like, yeah, you need to go outside. I'm up here preaching about going outside. She gonna come ask me if I'm gonna go outside. Look, I am pretty much gotta go be the bodyguard. <laughs> A pretty ass princess bodyguard. Cause uh, yeah, these are my kids. <laughs> my babies, my nieces, my play kids. My play daughters. Man, this says a tower, y'all. I'm telling y'all, I don't know if I want to go out. I got to listen to God on this. That's it. Shit say, clearly say no. And it's a storm. <laughs> yeah. I might have to pass on this one. Because it's already 11 o'clock. I already made it up in my mind. I said I wasn't going to go. Now these kids, if they want to go, they grown. Shit, they going to go. But mama, I'm not going to stop doing what God got me doing right now to be running to no club because I'm not even no club person, period. Period. I go out every blue moon, but I'm not really trying to break my neck and go because I asked, they asked. That's why I got my hair done and shit and I got my little outfit ready. But at the same time, yeah, he's saying no. It's a storm. It says, wait, postpone, pause, and just say no. Shit. Hold on. Let's see what else he said. Answer the call. <laughs> you telling me something. For real. Answer the call. He calling and telling me something right now. Don't go nowhere. Period. Answer the motherfucking call. People be putting Jesus all on pause. They be putting the angels, your ancestor, your auntie, your grandma, your uncle, your great grand, your great granddaddy be trying to call you like, bro. You shouldn't be going outside, bro. Don't go outside, bro. Something bad might happen if you go outside and God calling you not to go outside. He's trying to get you a phone call, real talk. So, bro, don't go outside, bro. I'm telling you, grandson, don't go outside, baby. Don't go outside tonight, baby. You ain't missing out on nothing, baby, in them streets, baby. Period, baby. Real talk. Y'all said y'all was going to go out next weekend. Wait till next weekend. 
Y'all know why y'all all should be going out anyway. It's that time of the month anyway. So why would you want to go all out and you can't be all comfortable? You feel me? Anyway, granddaddy, I'm talking about some stuff you probably don't want to hear. But granddaddy, I'm going to go ahead and get on off the phone. But I'm going to take your advice. I'm not going to go on out. I'm already inside looking beautiful. Shit, we good right here. Here, if I want to turn up, I got to do is turn the motherfucking music up. Like, you feel me? Shit, all I got to do is turn the music up. All I got to do is turn the music up. And I'm at the club. Pick up the call. <laughs> Answer the call when God call you. And the angels is calling you. Pick up the call. That was a good ass little lesson right there, you guys. Like, I'm definitely not going nowhere. God, God just said, don't you go nowhere. And if I go on and go out, something going to happen. And then I'm going to come back and have to tell everybody, y'all, I sure went out there and got fucked some shit went down. Period. Nah, I ain't going no damn shit. I'm going to listen to God. Shit, before I listen to my child, I'm going to listen to my father. Period. Shit. Shit. Okay. Let me go ahead and get... Okay, so we got children out the way. We got our messages from light workers. We got the Lemarians, Atlantis. We got um, messages from. That how we did? Okay, so we got one, two, three, four out the way. Okay. Alright, so let's move on. No, that don't go there. Alright, let me move these back to where they go. Trying to avoid the big, the big one. Let's mix it up. Adventuring air spray. So beautiful. It smells so yummy. All right, so we just got our light worker reading. We got our children, we got our angel um, information for our angels, for our babies, our children. We got a children's angel message. We got our light worker message. We also we got our Lemarians and our Atlantis messages. All right, so we're moving on. 
Oh, snap. We got Andromedan energy. We're getting messages from the Andromedans. They're coming through. Look at them come. That's the portal. They're coming on through the portal right now. Look, they pretty much got on my colors. They're coming through the portal. And they're giving me messages right now at this time, at this minute. They're coming through the portal. And this, they're saying they're jumping in right now. Look, jump in. They're jump, they jumped in. Say yes to change. Adventure. Time to have some adventure, you guys. Take a chance. Enjoy your life. You got serious energy coming through. Look at this bright, beautiful energy. They're bringing harmony and balance. Serious energy. They're bringing harmony and balance. We got the series energy. They're bringing harmony and balance. Period. When you come through, hit the like button. Show your girl some love. I take gifts. Send me a gift. You feel me? Get to know me. What's good? What's popping? The earth is pulsing at this time. Mother Gaia, Mother Gaia energy. Yes, oh my God, the pulse of the mother, Mother Gaia. It's time to go outside, Mother Gaia. Your mother's calling us to get into nature. See that it says mother, Mother Gaia, Mother Earth. Time to slow down, spend time in nature. That's exactly what she's saying. Period. Period. All right. Another portal. Learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. That's right. We're all on the earth, but we're spiritual beings. There are light beings, dark ones, dark forces. Lower vibrational energy, energy vampires, monitoring spirits, demons, witches, warlocks, incubus, succubus, Jezebels, Judases, it's ascended masters, there's angels, archangels of the highest, there's fallen angels, there's demons. Goons and goblins. <laughs> Seriously. What side is you on? Who you represent? Are you of the light? Or are you of the darkness? earth school we got our angels ancestors spirit friends spirit guides coming through we got our i just told y'all we had serious energy coming through andromeda energy we got mother gaia trying to wake us up get us attention get us attention so we can go heal and lift our vibrations she's uh, you getting all your messages and synchronicities okay come on pick this up let's pick it up let's get with it let's get to it period it's time to learn and it's time to open up your third eyes it's time to lift your vibrations clear your chakras get in your spiritual order spiritual order get in line Get in order. Yeah. 
Yes, it's time for you. We're going through soul growth. Study and higher learning at this time. We're learning life lessons. Learn your lessons and keep it pushing. Learn from your lessons. Learn from your lessons at this time. We got blue flames. I just talked about we had the high priest and the high priestess coming together. Divine union. We got blue flame energy. This is higher. This is the highest of the flames. You got your twin flame and you got your karmic flame and you got your blue flame. We're getting ready for the right people in our lives, the right relationships, the right love. Woo! It's about to go down. We People about to start getting booed up, husband up. You feel me? They about to get started getting husband up, all kind of stuff. Real talk. I'm excited. Shit, I'm excited. It's time for activation. Spontaneous awakening. Integration time. It's time to come together. It's time to enter each other. The divine ones. No more mixing with karmics. Narcissists. We mixing with reptiloids, demons, fallen angel seeds, all the wrong seeds. Empaths can't be mixing with everybody. Period. Angels can't mix with just anybody. Period. I learned that a long time ago. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna stop getting it up. Shit. <laughs> for real, for real. Because people don't deserve you. Really. Lord, these kids. Boy. Lifting the veil. The veil has been lifted, you guys. Evil and good can come go the world, the dimensions is can they roaming freely in and out this bitch from our energies from other dimensions. They're roaming in and out. Just wake up, we finna go to the world and dance, see what's going on in the world. They're able to come on through. Angels, demons, everything, all everything. Is, the veil has been lifted. Time for y'all to take the veil off of y'all eyes and see. Off your third eye. Open your third eye. Wake up. Period. And people are starting to question everything. Anything on the line must go. Time to start thinking, um, looking at things in the big picture. Look at the big picture and things. We gotta stop being so petty, so ungrateful. We got Pleiades energy. These are visionaries. These people who help you, these um, energies help you um, and get inspired through your visions, through your dreams. Visions. Remember who you are. A lot of people are waking up and they're remembering who they are at this time. Because our soul has a plan. God got a plan. Our soul got a plan. Period. God got a plan for our souls, not just our flesh. He has a plan for our souls, not just our flesh. Period. God got a plan for your soul and your flesh. You can either live the faded life or the life that you're destined to live. If you're going to be out here rolling in darkness and you live a faded life to dark karmic debt. Or do you want to live your life blessed? Good karma. Living in the light. The time is now. Stop playing games with yourselves. Period. You know how you out here doing wrong? You need to change about that. Period. Period. 
Period. Yes. We got water energy, seeing potential and bringing unconsciousness to light. Yes. We got people seeing potential. I see potential in a lot of people. People are seeing potential in me. That's right. Yes. Let's continue to rise up. My soul beings. My light beings. My light workers. My star seed babies. My crystal kids. My indigo kids. Time to surrender. Stop holding opposition. We know the light, our lives is going through extreme times right now, but it's time for you to embrace God. Real talk. Take your spiritual baths. Embrace God. Let's go to the light. Let's ascend. You got your ancestors waiting for you. Look at that. Look at that. They waiting on us. You see these ancestors? You see these ancestors up here? They're going towards the light? Come on. We need people helping people get to the light. Raise their consciousness. Because look. Look at your ancestors and them. Your spirit friends and spirit guides. Come on. You're protected. The cosmic heart. It's time to love on each other. Rose, quartz energy, roses, beauty, Venus energy. It's time for devotion. Make your life a moving prayer. It's time to be singing and dancing and worshiping. Loving on one another. Husband and wives loving on each other. Loving on your kids. Loving what you do. Love. Trust the process. Trust where you're going. When you get activated, it's going to be power places that we're going to be going. There's going to be ways to get there. Ley lines. Trust where you're headed. Can't make this up. Can't make this up. Don't worry. You see him going up. Don't focus on the material. Focus on the energy. The light. We're in a whole other dimension. We're not in this 3D. We're in the fifth dimension. The 5D. It's avoided time right now. It's winter time. Embrace winter. Enjoy this downtime. The stars are watching. Yes, it's time to ascend and go home. I know you homesick. I'm homesick. I'm ready to go back to the cosmos. <laughs> Period. We got our star seeds, our light workers, our light beings, our babies. We ready to go. We ready to move on up. Angels up there waiting on us. See them? 
See them angels up in there? They're waiting on you. Your ancestors and them, they waiting on you. They waiting. They in the trees. They everywhere. You are called. You have gifts. You are called. Answer the phone. Answer the call. Answer the call. It's Bobby there. Bobby, we've been calling you. We've been calling you, Bobby. <laughs> I'm playing. For real, answer the call. Many are called, but a few are chosen. What's up, chosen ones? We know you on your shiznit. Inner Earth. Got a lot of Earth energy right now. Nature energy. You'll survive this. New solutions and beginnings. There's new beginnings, new solutions. You're going to survive. Whatever situation you're in, don't worry. Water your garden. It's time to water your gardens. Husband and wives, your wives need you to water that garden. Yeah, feel me. Women, spiritual baths. Water your gardens, spiritual baths. Some of y'all somewhere hot needs to water your gardens. They thirsty. Nourishment, body care, tenderness, and take some rest. Take a break, take some rest, retreat. Take a retreat. You can take a retreat in your sleep. I'm going to have to do an ascension um, cards tomorrow. You got your star brothers. You got your star bros. They're here. You got your star brothers. They here. All right, so I'm going to leave that there. And I will talk to you guys later. My name is Angela Tolliver, known as the Spiritual Plug, the Spiritual Sniper. And I'll be back with the next video. Make sure you like that video and you subscribe. Hit that notification button so that you will be uh, getting the notifications for when I pop back up in YouTube land. You feel me? You can call me new kid on the block. What's good, YouTube? You know my shit be hot. Like, comment, subscribe on my shit. Stay tuned in for that good content. Hey. All right, I'll see you guys later.